So I use OER uh, materials in a number of my classes. Uh, in particular, in the data science classes, all the materials are open resources, including the software. So we use RStudio, Tableau, Python, GitHub. Those are all open resources. And in fact, the textbooks that we use for all those classes are also open source. Um, we usually connect students via PDFs. Um, they're often with the O'Reilly series and they're accessible by the library. They're accessible just downloading. In my statistics course, we use open intro resources, which have free textbooks. And we also have free labs that we do to, to help students learn coding. In my calculus classes, we use the open stacks, free textbooks, and we use my open math as the homework platform. So that is to say that uh, I have converted over time all my classes to be open sourced uh, materials for students. I believe that it builds equity um, because it makes all the content accessible to all students, it, whether they can afford the, the materials or not, then if we make them free, then that makes everything equitable. Um, it's cost effective, of course. Um, it's customizable because I can pick and choose what content I would like to use. Um, I think what's really nice about the open educational resources, especially um, now, is that they're so multimodal. There's all different sorts of media that you can embed videos and clips, and it's not just a static textbook. Um, in a way, that, that what that does is it decolonizes the education. It's a very Western-centric, traditional um, path that we used over time, and we've changed that now. And it really makes a big difference to a lot of students. They feel heard. Um, I had a student say that by using these OER materials, I've been able to save money. I'm exposed to a variety of different resources. Um, a lot of students really like the My Open Math resources for their homework platform. Uh, there are other, um, um, I guess, proprietary homework platforms and students have used both and they find that the free open ones are actually slightly better. They feel like they're a little bit more in tune with what they have and they embed videos for help assignments and things like that. There are downsides. Um, the quality of the open resources may vary depending on what who is creating and 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 the audience they're uh, directing it towards but i think as faculty we um we pick and choose we test out the material we see which ones are kind of i guess most appropriate for our students and then you can always you can always replace one thing with another when you find that the the quality is not up to par um so our data science program, we said, are all open source, so we call them Z courses, but the entire data science program is a Z program, which I think makes a big difference to students when they have that qualifier on them. It makes it a very attractive thing that they know that they will not have to put out more money in addition to the tuition towards their uh, educational materials.